Hey all, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about a really striking high pan cistrus that I think might take a lot of your fancy. Let's jump straight into the video today and talk all about the Colombian Zebra Pleco. So I've been keeping these uh, high pan cistrus for over a year now but um, it's kind of a funny story. So I used to keep them in the three put at the front of my fish room and uh, I only ever saw one of them. I originally got a group of four and uh, yeah I just assumed I guess that I lost some along the way. But right up in the front corner there used to be one of them that used to greet me, he'd always be hungry for food and I could really keep a good eye on him. He'd always end up in the exact same spot so I knew that I had at least one. However, when it came time to packing up the three foot, I moved the sponge filter and I was really happy to see that the other three were just very good at hiding. So today I thought it would be a good excuse to talk about these guys today, especially since I grabbed some footage while I could. But uh, what we're talking about today here is the Colombian Zebra Pleco. You might also hear them known as the Chocolate Zebra Pleco. They are registered under the L129 number and as I said, they're a high pan cistrus. What this means is that they're not necessarily an algae eating pleco, they're more of an omnivore and they do enjoy a bit of protein in the diet. So don't expect these guys to do the work that um, our common bristlenose do and uh, keeping that glass nice and spotless. Colombian zebra plecos, funnily enough, they're from Colombia and Venezuela. They originally come from the Orinoco Basin and as such they're going to want water between a 6.5 and a 7.5 pH and a temperature between 24 to 28 degrees Celsius or 76 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Adults are not going to get too big, they're suitable for most aquariums. They'll get up to around about their 3 inch mark or the 7.5 centimeters. They have super striking patterning. They have these fantastic stripes all along their body and um, they can vary in color from browns to yellows to creamy sort of colors but um, hopefully I have enough b-roll here to satisfy what they look like. Originally when you get them just like me you might never see them but um, you should find that over time they become more and more confident and you might even have a little buddy that perches himself at the front of your tank just like I did. In order to sex them out you're going to find that just like other placos females are going to be more rounded where males are going to be more slender and potentially a little bit bigger. When it comes time to breeding these guys, they're not too challenging. I'd probably say they're around about a similar difficulty to bristlenose, maybe a bit higher, or maybe that's just because less people actually keep them. If they were just as common, they'd be very similar um, to breed. In any case, you want to get yourself a nice uh, one-way cave, just like bristlenose. Uh, the males, just like bristlenose, are going to guard the eggs and sort of wait till they hatch and kick the fry out eventually. And raising them up shouldn't be too difficult. They're not likely to go full predator mode and eat all their babies. They're just going to do their thing just like most other plecos, to be honest. A clutch size is around about 20 eggs usually, so you're not going to get a thousand of these overnight. But in any case, I think they can be a really nice, unique addition to your fish room. Something that you don't see every day, something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Overall, I've found uh, Colombian Zebra Plecos, aka the Chocolate Zebra Pleco, to be a really fantastic addition to my fish room. I really enjoy when I do spot them occasionally. They're really peaceful and community um, adaptable. However, you might find that they've got some slight territorial aggression towards conspecifics. That means fish that look similar and act similar to, the, to what they do. So just keep that in mind, but all your tetras and other community fish will be absolutely fine to be kept with these guys. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it provided you a little bit of inspiration or assistance. If you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.